So my promise, I'm going to show you how you can shift from feeling overworked, overstretched, guilty, and kind of meh, as Paula said, to being obsessed with the work that you're doing, the impact that you're creating, and the rewards of your career. Oh, my goodness. If I'm tripping over my words at this end, what hope have I got? I'm sure it'll get better. My math will come into order. Into order. Um, so I want you to shift towards being obsessed with the work that you're doing, the impact that you're creating, and the rewards of your career is delivering to you made at that time um, and this starts with finding the courage to identify what it is that you want most then being seen as that and finally insisting on that so by the end of our conversation here today you'll have worked through some things you'll have some resources for further exploration and a roadmap to go deeper still if you would like to so I'm going to ask you to turn off all distractions because your time is precious and I promise you if you give me your full attention, you're going to walk away with some decisions made or at least on your way there. Um, but if you're doing the usual multitask juggle that we are all victim to, you're not going to get the same benefit. So I'm whoa, what am I doing with my screen? So I'm going to ask you to, I'm going to call out whoever needs it right now and remind you that when you make you a priority, everybody benefits. So please forgive me by being blunt here as I ask you this. I know that you're on your priority list, but I know that you're also really busy. So you're here now and I applaud you for that. Turn off the distractions if you possibly can. Lock yourself into a wardrobe if you need to. Um, hide on the back porch, but give yourself time to focus on your next strategic move. So what we're doing now is this five-minute um, a, a skills kind of post-it party. What I'd like you to do, this is to give you a taste of what we're talking about in terms of building the courage with evidence, right? So I've run this activity with very mixed groups, you know, be it government employees, the brightest young minds at Uber head office, um, with countless cross-sector professionals. And you could literally draw a line down the room with how men and women um, work differently with this. So when I ask um, men and women to fill this in. Um, what I find is that men find it really easy to fill their skills and women find it really easy to fill the gaps. So let me walk you through some tips on how to build this out and also how to get some advantage from these smiley face, sad faces. Okay, so here we go. 